What is up, YouTube? HDJ here, and I just want to ask you guys because we're going to be taking a look at more cards coming out of EX06, the Infernal Ascension. So, um, I previously mentioned in the video that, yeah, we're, I was going to look at um, Infernal Ascension because a lot of new cards that came out. And there are a lot of really cool parts that just came out for Infernal Extension. While some are better than others, we at least got some more cards. And now there is some controversy with, in particular because of a Tamer's Rarity um, that I will be talking about because a lot of people have been like, oh, you guys did this. Why did you do that situation? <clears throat> So it's going to be very interesting to see. So with that said, well, we're going to take ahead and take a look at Infernal Ascension. So new cards. When we start off with is TK and Kari. Yeah, the OG artwork from Adventure 1. TK and Kari. So TK and Kari are dual tamer. They are they're yellow uh, with a play cost of four. Now their active, uh, so their effects are at the start of your main phase, you may play one yellow Digimon. Uh, uh, on, yeah, at the start of your turn or on play, one of your yellow Digimon gains a barrier, which is of course if it was to be deleted, you send a top card of your security for the trash to instead. And this will last until the end of your opponent's turn. The next ability is that uh, on your turn, one of your Digi one of your Digimon is played or Digivolved, and it has the traits of Angel, Archangel, or Three Great Angels. You spend this timer to gain one memory. Then we have Suzy or Su Chong Wong from Digimon Tamers. So um, Su Chong is a dual color tamer. She's yellow green, cost of four. And her axis is on play. You may reveal the top card, three cards of your deck to add one card with Beast, Beast Kin, or Holy Beast, or True B. And it's straight among them to your hand and send the rest to the bottom of your deck. During your turn, if the effect suspends one of your Digimon, you need to send this tamer. And then one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a Beast Kin, Holy Beast, or True Beam traded card in your hand and reduce the cost by two. Then we have the Sin of the Three Great Angels. So this is an option card with a cost of five, and it has the trait of Three Great Angels. Now, main, you may play one Digimon with Angel, Archangel, or Three Great Angels in its traits from your hand to the bottom of your security stack, then place the card in the battle area. During all turns, uh, when one of your Digimon with Angel, Archangel, or Three Great Angels in its traits would be is deleted, delay. You can place this card uh, to the trash in order to do this later this turn to do the following action, which is uh, check your security and you may play one Digimon with Three Great Angels in its trait among them without paying a minimum cost. Shuffle your security stack. And of course, the security effect is to play this card. Uh, in the battle area. Then we have the polar opposite of the Great Angels. We have the Seven Great Demon Lords. So, seven, event of the Seven Great Demon Lords, purple card uh, option, uh, cost of four, trait, Seven Great Demon Lords. Main, you may play one Digimon with Seven Great Demon Lords in your trait from your hand or trash to the bottom of the Deconition Swords of the Gate of the Deadly Sins in your breeding area. Then you may play this card in the battle area. All turns, one of your Digimon with seven great demon lords trait is deleted. Delay. You may play one Digimon card with seven great demon lords in its traits from the Digivolution Swords of the Gate of Deadly Sins in the breeding area without paying the memory cost. Security effect, play this card in the owner's battle area. Then we have a new white option card. This is Excuse me, Mega Digivolution Fusion. Uh, it's a, a white option card with a rarity of four. Its translated name, uh, which is officially not even translated, is com Combination into the Ultimate Dragon. So its effect reads while your opponent has a level six or higher Digimon, you ignore the uh, color requirements of this card. Play one level six Digimon from your hand and one green. Uh, yeah, 
one of your level six Digimon and one card in your hand, and you may DNA Digimon them into a level seven card in your hand. The security defect says you return one level six or higher Digimon card from your trash to your hand, then add this card to your hand. So basically, this is kind of like a mock version of the last Digimon Fusion card, which was just a jumper card into a, a Mega. By reducing memory loss and stuff. Um, primarily, it was used... Oh, hold on, I gotta charge my computer. I gotta charge my laptop. But yeah, this is basically just something they used uh, that... Remember, the card ended up getting banned because it was just so good and hybrid uh, at that point because hybrid was using it i think the gendramon was using it there's a lot of decks using the fusion card. you guys know the fusion card is like uh the great mega fusion which was like taking uh you took one card and you just jumped it up into its mega and some of the cards did that love that because there was a lot of ways you could jump cards into other cards without having to do with the mailman so yeah this is pretty much their retrain of it, which is incredibly weird considering that you do have Mastering on in this. Um, this is a really good card for Mastering on if Mastering on players want to just jump into the fusion. You can jump into Aldanimon and save yourself the, the issues. So you just jump into Aldanimon and then you can just move the build and then get you your security back. So this would be a really good thing. Or I think the 7th grade demon wars have that, that new card in it. That'd be really good. Uh, next up is the last of the new cards, and this is Mirai and Kadari. So we finally get our new Mirai card. Mirai is a dual colored purple yellow, and she is across the four. Her on play. I mean, sorry, her effect. Uh, your turn with one of your Digimon with Holy Beast, Archangel, Fallen Angel, and its trade is played. You may suspend this thing with a game of memory. Then you may Digivolve one Digimon into Angelomon or Lady Elemon from your trash by reducing the cost by one. At the end of your turn, once a turn, if two of your, if you have two Digimon, you may DNA Digivolve them, uh, into a card in your hand. The carry if I play this card without paying the memory cost. So yeah, that is all of the cards uh given to us from this set. So let's go back to TK and Kari. So TK and Kari aren't too bad. This is probably something that'd be really good in yellow vaccine. Since yellow vaccine likes to manipulate its own security, uh makes a couple of cards that like from DT fifteen, which aren't too many, it's just the Angel online. Uh, it's probably just a decent enough card, but it's something that I'm not going to be jumping into. You can still use this card with the Emissary of Hope. You can combine this with the Anjumon, Padamon stuff, because it has CK in its name. Um, but this is something I, sorry, I'm just not going to be really focusing on, um, as an actual card. I, I, I have better options for Tamer. It's just not it. I need memory Tamer. And it's just not fitting it. Um, Susie, Susie, this is Susie's gonna be really good for um, what was it? The 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 truly mon deck, the 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 um, rapid mon stuff. This is gonna be really really good for them because it it helps you get to truly mon. It helps you get to your beast skins, your holy beast and stuff like that. So that fits the criteria for basically. Everything between Terrier Mon and Mon Mon's evolution line. This does support a True Mon based deck as well, or a Three Grain Angels based deck. So you can get into True Mon as soon as possible as well. This is a really good card. And this is a really good setup card as well. So very much high hopes for it. Moving on into the Descent of the Three Grain Angels. Now, this is going to be a really decent enough card just because it, it plays into focusing on the angels. Um, it's not as mediocre as I, I would think it would be, but it is still something useful. Uh, I think more so vaccine, yellow vaccine is going to use it as much. I don't think, I mean, maybe you got to fit this in Mastermind. Mastermind has too many, just, it's too much stuff already in Mastermind as it is. So I, I don't really recommend it if you want to just try pure yellow setup for Mastermind, go right ahead. If that works for you, but yeah, no, this is something I think fits into yellow vaccine or to the three great angel deck, um, if any. 
uh, kind of the same thing with the advent of the seven great demonoids and because of how the demon were going to be set up. Um, you know, some potential set here, you know, some potential support for them. Um, so yeah, I definitely think this is going to be just a particular card for a particular deck that is in use. Same thing, Mega Dig the Mega Digivolution Fusion, Mega Digimon Fusion. Now, this is going to be really hard for like decks who have those really high up fusion monster I and mean, dual DNA digivolving cards that they need and can't get to. This is really good for Mastamon to get into our Donnie Mon. This is really good for like the Alter S and stuff. Um, no, not Alter S. Um, Omnimons and stuff. Like, so there's a lot of things you can easily do with this to get into other cards, to get into other cards. So this is really good. And it gives a return your level six or higher cards as well. So your level six and sevens need to go back to your hand. So oh, yeah, definitely something to be used for. Now this is where we talk about me, right? So you guys noticed that the rarity of me, right, is secret rare. Well, people are not very happy about that because they said this is a similar thing that they did before with Reyna, um, I believe. And they made Reyna a secret rare. Getting one of Reyna's is a secret rare. It was very hard for them to get the Reyna and they had to wait for a retrain of Reyna. I'm going to just say this now and be very blunt. This is a very sucky Mirai. Like, it's not like the other one, which was just, I saw your turn. Gain a memory. Then, you know, do all these different actions, gain another memory. Like, there's no memory gain off of this Mirai. And it's like, it's cute that you want to include, you know, the setup for the Angel line, but it's also just like, no, I'm not filling this Mirai. I'm sorry, I just don't. I think there's better options. Um, we have the other Mirai still. We can still perform Mastering on with ease. We now can perform our Donnie Mon with ease thanks to the Mega Digivolution Fusion, Mega DNA Fusion. So it's like this Mirai just basically just wants to try to set up from the trash, which is not bad, but it's just mediocre considering that you're only particularly looking for Ajoamon and Lady Devimon. So you would have to have someone who isn't Ajoamon. Or yellow, or someone who's a big every one, or purple, to of course haunt things. And then the fourth evolution thing, I mean, now this is probably just more icing on the case. Like, oh, hey, by the end of the turn, here you go, DNA Digivolve. Like, oh, okay. This stinks. But this is like, no, I, I don't like this one. Really. It's very mid. No, it's very low mid. And that thing for much considering the fact that I. Do not love Digimon Data Squad. It's just, I mean, well, not Digimon Data Squad. It's that I like Mastering on, but it's just like, wow, this is really like, it's really trying hard. It's giving try hard. And it's just like, no, this is not what Mastering on wants. Mastering on wants some way to get to Mastering on as soon as possible, wipe the board clean as soon as possible, and then just, you know, not have to deal with most things. Because it's something I said with the other cards in part three. I think it part two. There is no AOE removal for Mastamon. Mastamon in a lot of yellow decks does not have massive removal. They have to rely on the other colors in order to get massive removal, and even then, those are very situational. The reason why I was upset about the Mastamon situation is because yes, I am a Mastamon player who did not like how Mastermon had felt it in. And it kind of really sucks when everything else is just speeding up against Mastermon. Even when people try to fit into the yellow vaccine stuff, it did not help. Because yellow vaccine is its own entity. Now, while some of the pieces work here and there, it's just the overall issue of, oh my God, we really just don't have a lot of sense of really support us. And it sucks. And one of the issues that I said is, and I think a lot of people agree, is we don't have a massive removal, and we have to be in a DD walk into our massive removal. So, you know, we were hoping Mastermon, or maybe it was me, I was just hoping that the Mastermon got a massive removal that she didn't. She's got more big monsters in play stuff. So it's just like, that's not helping the problem, and at that point, it's just like, yeah, there's no really trying to fix this. But the other cards try to be supportive, or at least supportive. So that's in consolation, but it's just like, it's not the support we need. So 
yeah, my thoughts on it is my thoughts on this reveal is that yeah, there's some pretty decent stuff here that can be used, but overall, it's just like I'm just picking up the little stuff just to pick up the little stuff and then this is how I feel about it. So, um, while Paramount wants to just I forget how annoying we can see. So with that said, that's going to wrap up today's video. So I, of course, make sure to leave a link to the spoiler set here. So you guys can check out the cards themselves. Uh, let people know what you guys think about the new set in this wave of stuff being uh, put out there uh, in the comment section below. And with that said, I want to wrap up the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel as it helps out tremendously. You hit the notification bell to be informed of when I do upload more content to the channel. The social media links are in the description box below. And with that said, it's just signing out. Take care.